Josh with Cam and Cross here. And today I want to talk to you about a chair that you probably saw in one of my last videos. Uh, it's called the A-Lite Mantis. And uh, this is a model that came out shortly after their Monarch series, which was a little bit more compact and everything. It only had two feet. Um, it was a little bit unstable. Well, I, I kind of like that chair, but when they came out with this, the Mantis, it has um, four legs on the chair. And uh, I really liked um, the added stability of that. So I'm just going to kind of run down um, some of the features of that. Um, I've, got, I've got this one right here next to me. Um, I've already got it all set up. I kind of wanted you guys to see, you know, what it looked like um, uh, from the side and everything. Um, you'll see that this thing has uh, kind of a mesh side here. Um, this really helps with ventilation and whatnot. Uh, so during the summer months, this is really nice. Uh, in the colder months, um, I've noticed that it kind of tends to get a little chilly. And I uh, end up using like a foam pad or a sit pad of some sort on the back of this chair so that way I stay warm. Um, when you uh, set up this chair, um, it's actually pretty easy. They've got uh, the corners, the, the back two corners here are color coded black. Um, and that goes up with the silver ends. And then the, uh, the bottom two corners here are color coded gold. And if you pull that out, you've got a gold end on the pole as well. So it's pretty easy to match that up. Um, it's kind of a little complicated to tear down, so I'll show you what that's like. Just pull all these ends off of the poles. And then you just lay this down. I fold it like three times like that. Pull out all the poles. These are uh, these poles are shot corded, so they're kind of bungee. They just pull out like tent posts would. Um, so you go through this, pull out all the ends. And then you lay it on the uh, material in the center and you just kind of roll it up. Once you're done rolling it up, comes with a nice stuff sack, and you get everything in here. Really not too difficult to get everything in here. And this thing ends up being about the size of a loaf of bread. Um, this chair, uh, I believe it's really right on the two pound mark. Uh, and before these chairs came out, there wasn't really anything uh, close to this weight range. You, you, I think the best thing that you could find would be like a five pound chair. And it, it, it basically didn't have any uh, compactability at all. You'd be carrying like this big lawn chair on the back of your backpack. So these chairs take up very little room, um, don't weigh very much. Um, and as you can see, are very comfortable. You just sit in them, lean back. Oh, man, I want to take a nap now. <laughs> but these chairs, I can't say enough about them. A light Monarch, or sorry, A light Mantis chair. The Mo the Monarch is the smaller model. Um, so I'm gonna get this set back up real quick. And uh, if you guys, um, there actually there's actually a couple more things on this chair I wanted to show you real quick. Um, when you get this uh, chair set back up, there's there's a couple loops on the fabric that goes around the chair, and uh, I've tried to come up with uses for them. Uh, and maybe you've got like different things that you found that you like to use them for, but uh, I typically um, I'll show you real quick. Get this last corner in here, and we've got this loop right here um, on either side of the chair and uh, I don't know about you but I love the titanium spork that Snow Peak makes um, this is a great spot to put your titanium spork um, like if you need to get up while you're eating and you don't want your spoon to fall on the ground and get dirty it holds here right nicely um, it's got one of these on both sides 
And then there's also a little loop in the back. Um, and I haven't really found any good use for this yet. Um, but I would be really curious to hear, like, if you guys have this chair, what uh, what kind of features you might, or what kind of uh, uses you might have for it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, uh, thanks for watching. It's been a good time. Thanks for joining me, and we'll have have a good day. <laughs> I killed it.